Howdy guys, Cub here. Welcome back to Hermit Skies. Last time, we fought the Gaia Guardian, and I've been fighting a couple of Gaia Guardians off camera, and getting a lot of treasure and stuff like that, so we're gonna finish off one final Gaia Guardian here, and then we're gonna open up some treasure and try and work our way once again towards the transmutation table. And dead. <laughs> Alright, so... There we go, guys. We got a bunch of stuff from these Gaia Guardians. We have an insane number of runes. Like, we got probably like half a dozen or so different runes. Uh, we also got a lot of these things. Uh, Will, Will of Darak, Will of Arim, Will of Guntan. ton of those. Bunch of Mana Steel, bunch of Mana Diamonds. And most importantly, a bunch of Gaia Spirits. So, that's fantastic. We also have these Dice of Fate, which I'm not really sure... Ooh, there we go. Okay. Hold shift for more info. Relic Soulbound to Cubfan135. I'm not exactly sure what this is. The Fruit of Grisaya. Hmm. Okay. Well, it got us an achievement. That's cool. Oh, can we can we open all these? Oh, there we go. Arithmetic. Ring of Loki. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see... We can just keep going. Lost Time Memory. Ring of Odin. Hold shift for more info. Okay. Ring of Dice of Fate. Let's see what we got. Dice lands on one and vanishes. Let's open up a few more of these dice. We got, yeah, quite a few of these. So let's just grab all of these. There we go. Let's see if we can get some stuff. Angel of Death. The Eye of Flugel. Flugel. Okay. Let's see what we got here. One Step Laird. Ring of Thor. Okay. I, I'm guessing these are really good, like... Really good rewards here. A Fake Fake Psychotropic. Key of King's Law. Interesting. Okay. See what else we can get. Nothing from that one. 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 Nothing, and finally, nothing. Okay, but well, we got a lot of really cool stuff. We'll have to check out what all these things are, like what they do and like what they are for. It's probably like in the Lexical Botania, honestly, but yeah, here we go. Actually, <laughs> awesome, sweet. So let me read up on these. I want to see what these each do. So I think using shift right click with the eye of Flugel and then holding right click will then teleport me to that location. If I have mana stored on me, which I'm not really sure how to store mana very well. I guess maybe in this mana tablet would work. Uh, let's actually let's actually test this out. So, yeah, you can see that block way over there. That's where we'll teleport. Let's see what happens if I get over here and throw this mana tablet in here to gather some mana. I think this should begin to suck up some of the mana from this pool. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, okay, so now can I hold the right click? Yeah, that's awesome! <laughs> wow, that's really cool. So, yeah, this thing can teleport us, this Eye of the Flugel. Flugel. Okay, so, Key of the King's Law, this thing right here, apparently can, like, materialize a bunch of weapons at one time. So if I hold this and then release... <laughs> oh wow that's so cool oh that's awesome okay that's cool that's really cool i like that one i like that one we can have some fun with that one okay guys so the ring of loki uh ring of loki i've actually went ahead and put on my person right here and this thing is really really useful for building so if we want to build up our base or something uh i may use this in some capacity so, basically what it does, if I shift right click with an open hand on this, you see it selects this block. Then I'm going to place down another block right over here. Shift right click that, and you see it now selected that. So, now basically what I can do is if I shift click a block down, it'll place down the, the block relative to that. So, if I place a block down, for instance, on this block, it places the same block over here. And, like, I can just bring it over here like this, and you see it also places another one over there. Uh, if I were to build it up in the sky, and then back here, 
it places it down in the same position that I placed this block uh, over here relative to this one. So that's pretty cool. You can also, I think, I think do multiple blocks. Let's just see what happens here. Uh, whoop, I gotta shift click. Hang on. Let me uh, break these. Yeah, so now I can, now I'm placing like three blocks at once, which is awesome. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing. So this is a really, really useful building tool for sure. Uh, and I'm just going to clear it by shift double right clicking, I think. Hang on. Just clear all this, clear all that. Awesome. Yeah. So that's super useful for building. All right, guys, the ring of Odin. If I were to put this on here, there we go. You can see, yeah, there we go. It gives us some extra health. It gives us actually 10 extra hearts. And finally, guys, this Fruit of Graisha, this thing basically will use mana to replenish your food. So all these are actually pretty decent rewards. And I think we can actually, like, combine all of these rings we got. Ring of Thor, Ring of Loki, Ring of Odin. I think we can combine all those in a crafting bench um, to, yeah, essentially, um, yeah, make, like, the ultimate ring, I think is what it's called. Let's get over here and see if we can do this real quick. We put this, this, and this in there. Yeah, the Ring of Aesir. Sweet. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. There we go. Achievement, as the gods say. Sweet. <laughs> I'm guessing this can just basically do all three. I'm guessing. Uh, Relics of Aesir. Let's see. Can, what is this? Uh, does this do anything besides what has already been done? We got like a little blue bar down here now. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. All right. That's cool. That's super awesome. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Uh, one other thing I want to do here real quick. I want to also upgrade this ring of magnetization. Uh, we can actually use a Terra Steel together with this ring of magnetization. I think this upgrades it to the greater ring of magnetization. Yeah. There we go. We'll just put this on like this. Just move that down. There we go. Perfect. Okay, guys. So the whole reason that we went over there and fought the guy guarding a bunch of times is to make the transmutation table. So let's go ahead and take a look what we need for this. So transmutation and table. This is the first one we're going to make. There's also a tablet we want to make eventually. So we need ourselves some starry emeralds. We need five starry emeralds here. And then we need a transmutation tablet. Uh, which also requires another four. So we need nine starry emeralds in total, it looks like. So let's go ahead and make ourselves some starry emeralds. We have one right here. And we need a few more in here. So we need nine, I think, is what we said. So there we go. There's nine. So nine starry emeralds. We got that. Let's actually keep this on our, our person here. And let's see. What else do we need for this transmutation tablet? So we need trans... Mutation table right here. Perfect. Uh, we need dark solarium. We need 128 cube spatial component, which we need engineering processors and these spatial components and these spatial components. So we need a lot of crafting there. We have, I think, a lot of engineering processors over here. I'm, I'm pretty certain. Yes, yeah, so we have a lot of those. Uh, let's go ahead and try and make those things. So 128... Cube, spatial component, these things right here. Can I make those? No, okay. We need to make the smaller ones first. And we need to make these base ones before that. So let's just grab a bunch. We also need some more Fluix pearls. So let's grab some of that. Make a bunch of those. We're going to need some Fluix dust. So let me just go ahead and grab a bunch of these out of here. And we'll go ahead and pop on over here and make some Fluix dust. So at this point, we went ahead and crafted up the 128 cube spatial components, as you can see right here. They were pretty straightforward, just a lot of crafting required. So there we go, we got eight of those for the transmutation tablet. We also went ahead and started to smelt up some dark solarium ingots, as you can see there in our alloy smelters. And we also made a few more pieces of dark matter just by using Project E to make some dark matter bits. Uh, right, so now the only thing we're missing is basically the HDPE sheets, which are a little bit more intense, to be honest with you guys. So 
We need these HDPE pellets to make this, which require a PRC, so we need liquid ethylene and oxygen, and then a substrate to make the HDPE pellets. Uh, so how do we make ethylene? We need a rotary condensator, which takes the ethylene, I think this is the gas ethylene, and makes it into the liquid ethylene. So then the question is how to make ethylene. So ethylene. So we need to take another PRC and put in water and hydrogen, as well as some biofuel to make substrate. And that makes ethylene as a byproduct. Okay, so we need, we need both of these basically then. Uh, how do we make hydrogen and biofuel actually? So biofuel is you put you put pretty much any like plant product into a crusher to get biofuel. So that's how we do that. And then hydrogen, hydrogen here. Yeah. So hydrogen, we need water in an electrolytic separator and it separates the water into hydrogen and oxygen. So H2O is, is water. So hydrogen and oxygen makes sense, right? Cool. Um, so that's how we get the oxygen as well right there via the electrolytic separator. So yeah, we need to, yeah, we need to get this going. Um, also, we need a water source then. We need like an infinite water source uh, and something to pump it out. So let's actually see, I'm going to put this in here. Uh, well, let's actually see if there is the pump in the game to pump out water or any type of pump. Let's see, we got a pressurized cable, mana pump from Botania. Uh, let's see, electric pump from Mechanism. That might be the key right there. Um, 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 yeah, let's try and make this thing. Uh, what are we missing here? We're missing a steel casing. So let's just go ahead and grab, we'll grab a couple of these because we might need it. And there we go. Electric pump. Very good. Hold shift for details. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Let's do, I think there's also like a wrench from Mechanism. I think it's called the Configurator. Config... Eurator, yeah, this thing. So we need an energy tablet to make that. So, conf why do I keep going here? I have a wireless crafting terminal. Uh, configurator. Can I make that? No, we need the energy tablet. So let's make that happen. There we go. Actually, let's make a bunch of these. Let's make a couple of these. There we go. That should help us out. And then pull everything in. And there we go. Perfect. Stored energy zero RF. State configurate items. Okay. Can I, do I need to store power in this? Whoops. Uh, can, can I, can I put this in here and it'll get, there we go. Now it has some power. Sweet. All right. So this thing can actually like manipulate the mechanism stuff. Uh, right. So maybe I should make like an area for this that we can work in. Yeah, you know what, guys? I'm going to go ahead and make another area down here, like a mechanism area. Uh, we have this area down here with our neutronium, neutronium production. Uh, still coming in here. We got 5,000 neutronium in that chest, and or that compacting drawer. And we also have our reactor down here. What if we made another similarly similar looking uh, building, but on this side? Like if we blew out this, this wall here, and then made another similar type of structure like on this side like right underneath of our our area here i think that could be pretty cool let's go ahead and do that actually i think that'd be really awesome so let me go ahead and make the the building here it's just going to be the same sort of style as this one down here because i really like this floor right here so let's go ahead and make a mechanism room right over here okay guys so here is our mechanism room right here so this is what it's looking like we got ourselves the same color scheme as the reactor room over here Except instead of gold encrusted emerald blocks on the ceiling, we went with gold encrusted lapis blocks on the ceiling. And some of these things are uh, painted glowstone. So you see, yeah, painted block of steel painted with glowstone. Um, so yeah, most of these are just regular blocks, but some of them occasionally will be uh, painted glowstone like that one there. This one here is painted glowstone. So that's where the light is coming from. So yeah, that is that. Now let's go ahead and start to... Yeah, let's go ahead and make some of the stuff we need. So first thing we need to do is get a pump going. So 
Yeah, we have a pump right here, and we also need some water. For the water, I think it would be cool if we could use this, the Emperor's Chalice. Uh, this is from Reliquary. And essentially, if I shift right click, and then I think click on the ground. Uh, no, just regular in the regular mode, if I click on the ground. It'll actually give us... Yeah, water. So, in this mode, it picks it up when it's when it's enchanted and glowing. If I shift right click and take it to the next mode, yeah, it gives us water. And I can actually make unlimited amount of source blocks here. So I could really <laughs> make some stuff happen if I wanted to. Let's just put it in the other mode. We'll take away all these source blocks. So that one, that one, and that one. But I think what we can do is if we get out a... Let's see if we have a mechanical user... Mechanical user, we might be able to make one of these. Not quite. Can we make one of those? No. So we're going to need an Ender Shard. There we go. And then we'll make the resonating bit. And then we should have everything. Yeah. Cool. So if we do... Let's see. If we put this down, let's say over here, right? Let's say this is where it starts. Right there. And we tell it to... Right click, use item on block, upper left slot only. And we put this in here. Will that... Here, let's, uh, let's get another block out real quick here. Uh, let's say this one. Does it not use that? Oh, there we go. Use item. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so this should now... If we do that, yeah, it should if I, let's see if I place this and then remove that. Yeah, it should automatically place water down there. So this will constantly place water right there. I'm not a big fan of the sound, so let's see if we can get a sound muffler. Sound, okay. Please stop the sound. Thank you. Okay. So that will constantly place water from the Emperor's Chalice. And we can put the pump on this, I think think maybe let's see okay so yeah now we got the pump we're gonna need pipes I believe so let's look at pipes in here so pipes no uh, mm, okay so <laughs> mechanism at mechanism mechanism there we go Oh man, I can barely even see these pipes. I literally cannot see. Okay, so pressurized tube. Is this what we need? Middle bucket per. I think this is what we need. Basic pressurized tube. I think so. Let's see what happens here. Is this what we need? Do I hook these up here? Okay, that doesn't connect there. What about here? No. Okay, guys, so apparently these pressurized tubes are not for transporting liquids. Uh, apparently, like, they're color-coordinated, so they transport, like, water and stuff. Uh, or, or not water, but gases. So we will need these, but not right here. Um, so we need the orange ones, <laughs> whatever that is. And I think the power comes in on this side, I'm pretty certain. So let's see. Uh, let's see at mechanism... What types of pipes do they have? So they got pressurized tube. That's gases, I think. Logistical transporters. I think those are items. I'm pretty certain. And then mechanical pipes. Here we go. Basic mechanical pipes. I think... Yeah, fluids. Okay, we shift a look. Okay, that makes sense. So we need these basic mechanical pipes to transport fluids. So let's get some of those. Uh, so let's do this. And let's do... Basic mechanical pipes right here, these things. So let's get ourselves a few of these. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And then let's put this on top here. There we go. Now we're in business. Okay. So this comes over here. And let's see. We need power for this. So let's see if we have dimensional transceiver. Uh, let's see. Let's actually look in our in our crafting area. Uh, dimensional transceiver. There's one. Sweet. Uh, let's make sure this is configured correctly. 
So solar power, and it's not receiving anything from that. Okay, good. So this is just providing only power. So there we go. And there we go. Sweet. Pipe's filling up. Awesome. Okay, so the first thing I think we needed is the electrolytic separator to separate water and oxygen, uh, which we should have the stuff for this now, I think. Um, so let's just go ahead and electro... But it core is the first thing I think we needed. And then we can make the separator here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And then let's... There's a quest complete, by the way. Awesome. Let's put this here. And we're going to need to put the water pipes into it. Right? Yep. Okay. Filling up with water. Sweet. And then I think we just need to power it, correct? I'm pretty certain. Let's look at uses. Yeah, there's a power... And it separates into hydrogen and oxygen. This is the one we want right here. So water into hydrogen and oxygen. There's also some other stuff. Heavy water. I'll look out. That sounds advanced. <laughs> uh, right. So then we need the pressurized tubes. I think the pressurized tubes come out of this, maybe? Perhaps? Yeah, it looks like that that chalice is working pretty well. Not Not you. Yeah, that chalice is working pretty well. Good. Uh, let's see. So if I do this, uh, and then, let's see. How do, how do I want to do this? Can I rotate this thing somehow? Empty, rotate. Can I rotate this around? So I think this will work. Yeah, let's try this. So let's have... So we need the oxygen, right? So the oxygen, let's have this go out this way, and then we'll have... Uh, wait a minute. Why is, why is this not connecting here? Come out like this. And down. There we go. And then this should... There we go. Start filling up with oxygen. Fantastic. Uh, which side puts out the oxygen? Oh, okay, so this is hydrogen coming out this way. So this should go into... Is this hydrogen? This has to be hydrogen gas, right? Is that filling up? Okay, so that's filling up with hydrogen gas, right? Yeah, hydrogen gas, okay. And then if we put a gas tank here... Is this gas as well? No, we need we need a gas tank. Here. We need a gas pipe here. So we need a pressurized tube. Why does this not hook up here? I don't understand. Configure gases. No, not redstone sensitivity. Why you no connect? I don't get it. I do not get it, guys. Do you have to connect it to this side? That's dumb. All right, I'm gonna try it and see what happens. That's stupid. Stupid mechanic. I don't get it. Uh, okay. So now it's filling up with oxygen. Okay. So we got the oxygen and the hydrogen separated. So that's good. We're going to need this. We're going to need this oxygen. Um, yeah. For the PRC to make the HDPE pellets. So that's good. We already got that. And then I think we needed to take the hydrogen. Let me just... Double check this. Hydrogen. Uh, is it liquid? No, it's got to be gas, right? And I think we put... Hold on, let's go back to the HDPE pellets. HDPE pellets. Ethylene, right. We wanted to make ethylene somehow, so... Ethylene. We needed hydrogen and water. And a PRC with biofuel. So we need to make a PRC now is what we need. So let's go ahead and make one of those. PRC. No. Uh, pressurized. Here we go. Pressurized reaction chamber. Yeah, this is what we need. So we need some gas tanks. Let's just make two of those. Let's actually make four of these because we're going to need two PRCs. Uh, and then we need, what else? An enrichment chamber. We need two of these, so let's just grab some of those. And we also need a dynamic tank. 
There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to make the PRC. Yeah, there we go. PRC 1. PRC 2. Sweet. Quest updated PRC. Fantastic. Alright, so let's put this down somewhere. Let's go... Let's say... Da -da 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 -da, here, maybe? PRC and hydrogen... Yeah, so... Here. So... Let's do this. So we need... Let me get my pipes out. So let's take this pipe down here because it's going to need water, right? So we'll do this here. Uh, can I then... Uh, output? No. No, I want you to input. Oh, it's on gases. Hang on. Don't output gases then. Fluids. Energy. Gases. Fluids. None. Can I... How do you change this? Alright, guys. So I think I know how to use this now. Maybe. Uh, it's a little bit confusing, but I think we shift right click here. And there we go. Uh, bump to fluid yellow. Push. There we go. Yeah, okay. There we go. So the water is in there now. And now we have to do the same thing here. We have to take pressurized tube here. And that looks like it's already configured correctly. Yes, there we go. So we got hydrogen and water in there. Now we just need the biofuel with the crusher. So let's go ahead and we will get a crusher going. So let's look in here. Crusher. Uh, crusher. Here we go. Do I have the stuff? Yes, I do. Very nice. Okay. So let's put down a crusher here. Uh, let's see, where do we want this to be at? Let's put this... Let's put this here? Well, hmm. I don't know where to put this at. Let's put this right here, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's put this right here. Uh, and also, let's go ahead and power these as well. So we'll just have this coming over here to there. That should give that power. Fantastic. And also, let's power this. So for this, we're going to need logistical logistical pipes or transporters, which I think we should have the stuff for. There we go. Perfect. And let's go in here. Okay. And then we want to... Where's our configurator? So right here, we want to pull stuff from the crusher and put it into the PRC. Very good. Okay. And then we need like some basic stuff. So let's look up uh, like sugar cane. Uh, can I actually crush sugar in this thing? Let's see. No. Okay. So I need actually like plant material. Um, so let's do... What do I have a lot of? I look up plants, sunflowers, uh, carrots, 2,000 carrots. That should work. So let's just grab a bunch of these. And let's just set up like a chest. So actually, well, we'll have to uh, look in here for one. There we go. There's a chest. And we can go ahead and put like a chest, let's say here that we fill with carrots and let's put a logistical pipe transporter whatever it's called here and this will then pull from here and push into there okay so then if I put these in there does this not work like that or Mm. Oh, side configuration. Uh, da, 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 da. Energy. No, we want input. None. And then output on the side. Right? There's one carrot went in. Am I doing like a... How do you tell which side is which? That's what I want to know. So if I look at it like this... Does that change? Input is like that. How do I how do I know which way is the front? 
Oh, okay. I have no idea what I did, but it is now working, it looks like. I just set all these to output because I don't know. I guess it's... I guess it's this one? What? Hold on. If I change this to all none here... This makes... This, I, this whole item thing here makes no sense to me. Is this still going now? Let's see what happens. It is! What? How is this the, the side? That doesn't make any sense at all. And then this is... Input from this... Okay, well, I guess that works. Somehow. I don't understand at all how this is the side, though. Like, to me, this is like a top-down view. Like, this is the top. And then this is the side. This is one another one, another one side. This is another side. This is another side. But this must be the back of it. When you're looking at it straight forward. Okay, I get it now. They should have a little thing that says that. Like, this is... Like, back, front. Yeah, otherwise it's very confusing. But now I think I get it. And this is the front, so we have this is the front configured to... Okay, I get, I get it now. I get it now. Um, so, yeah, our substrate is being made. So that's fantastic. Let's see what we need the substrate to go into. Uh, the substrate, I think, needed to go into another PRC, I think. Um, and we also need to somehow get this ethylene out of here, I believe. So, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, I'm going to have to call it an episode for today. And, yeah, I got the first half of this machine done. We just have to make the second half of the machine next time that will make our HDPE pellets. So, that should be pretty fun. Uh, by the way, I just want to note here, if it looked like I struggled during this episode, that's because I did a little bit. Uh, this is my first time ever using any pipes at all for mechanism and the first time using any mechanism machine that's not the metallurgic infuser ever so <laughs> yeah i feel like we did pretty good for the first time uh yeah i apologize if some of you guys were tearing out your hair uh when i was complaining about like the configurator and not knowing how it worked and anything like that but not everybody knows everything about mods all the time guys so yeah it's important to realize that and yeah you have to struggle sometimes before you can make something great so with that, I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.